Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Star Trek Online. Today, we are going to be discussing the Undyne Battle Zone and how it all works. And um, so, starting off with the easiest way to get to the Undyne Battle Zone is if uh, you're level 65, you can transwarp there. Mine are in cooldown right now because I just transwarped here. If you go down to the bottom, you choose this the Sphere Space Allied Zone. If you click on that, you'll be able to transwarp to the spheres space. That's that's where we are now. But in order to do that, to unlock that transwarp, you need to go into your missions and go into the Selenite Dyson category. You don't have to do the Sphere of Influence. However, I do recommend you do play through it once because it is a fun mission. Uh, you do have to do Circles Within Circles. And that basically gives you the, it's the, the quote, tour of the entire Dyson Sphere, and it's how you, you unlock the Dyson Sphere. So, do that. You have, to, you have to do that mission. You don't have to do the Supply Woes or the Contested Zone. I do recommend trying them and, uh, you know, seeing what, where they go from there, because part of this, this game is the wonderful content that they create, and that's part of the storyline. So. so, anyways, once you get that, and uh, you're actually in here, there's actually technically three battle zones to the Dyson Sphere, but today we're only going to be focusing on the, un the Undyne or the Species 8472 battlefield. So to do that, you go into, when you warp in or transwarp in, you're going to see these four buttons here on the side. There might be three, there might be four. Depends on if you've actually gone to the contested, contested zone to discover the ground and uh, the other the Voth ones, but... Anyways, you'll see these four times. You hit the space battle zone con contact. Okay. Go to him. He'll come up. This uh, bullion guy will come up and, you know, let's transfer up to the, to the space undying battle zone. You say yes. Now, if you have not done, you have not done or been to the battle zone, you will get a little tutorial video. And basically how it, it, it'll explain how it works and all that stuff. I'm not too sure if I can replay that here or not. Doesn't look like I can, so I'll have to try and record that on another character at some point. But this is basically the Undying Battle Zone right here. And as you see, we've already started on this Battle Zone. But what happens is, when you come into this, all of these zones, different areas will be red. Each zone has a different task for you to do. Um, of course, you are going to kill some Undyne and Species 8472. But the main goal is you, you have to perform the various tasks. And we'll go through that here in this video. But uh, the main thing is they'll start off red. And once you complete the task, they'll turn blue. Once we've completed all the, the zones, all the tasks, in the, and got all the zones converted onto allied control... Uh, then they will go into another phase where there will be a number of planet killer ships around the, the zone. Now what we have to do is go and basically do enough more tasks and just defeat all those planet killers in 10 minutes time, I believe it is. And if we do that, then we complete the battle zone We get rewarded for accordingly. But we're going to go ahead and get started. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find an instance. Not only has less people, but I also want an instance where it's it's less completed. That way I can show you all the different the various tasks. Here we are in a very completely red zone. Let's go ahead and start with the first one right in front of us. Once my frame rate start cooperating, that'd be fantastic. This one's already started, but we're basically going to start by trying to close this uh, the singularity that's ahead of here. Wow, my frame rate started not cooperating today at all what we're going to do is we're going to basically defend these three posts and then we'll shoot a beam to disrupt this particular rift here 
some of these these tasks are very tedious and very long and unfortunately sometimes it also bugs out which is issue for most MMOs but This might be an incident where they, it's actually bugged, unfortunately. Each point that you need to work on is highlighted by the big arrow. I'm actually stuck on this. There is a point here where you'll get to activate. Fortunately, finding that sweet spot is never always, not always easy. Somewhere. Finding it all. There we go. I got the rip done so that we got this zone under control. Now we move on to the next one. And this particular zone is, I believe it is the city zone as they call it. That's pretty straightforward too. Go in here and we make sure all the Undyne ships are not no longer functioning with inside of it. And once we activate and this is another one where it's going to basically be uh, closing a rift. We have to go ahead and activate this. Now we have to basically outnumber the Undyne in this little space. That is the basic goal. We just have to sit here, make sure the Undyne don't outnumber the allied people, and basically wait. I think the unfortunate bit about it, it is you, you do have to wait for it. Of course, periodically the Undyne will come in and try and um, stop you from taking control. Takes a while, but they do show up and they will pop up. Here they are, actually. That's okay, we gotta take... Oh. Oh, excuse me. We have that taken care of, no problem. Now, like I said, we, we just have to wait for this bar to complete. And uh, the more 
of course, the more people you have in the rift area, um, the faster that bar bar will go. So the more people you have in with you, the faster it'll be. So bring your friends, bring your your fleet mates, bring your friends. This is a very good way to pick up uh, not only dilithium but also a very good way to pick up marks for the undying uh, reputation. I believe you get some diced ones too. If I recall, I could be mistaken. More undying coming. Go ahead and take care of those guys. Now your uh, experience in the battle zones might vary comparing you know, to your your build type on your ship. Or in the case of the ground battle zones, you might uh Find that your your ground build is not adequate. So you your your difficulty might vary. But for the most part, the battle zones at 65 are pretty fun to use. Not they're not too difficult. The numbers might get to you, especially in the uh, the battle zone of like uh, the Badlands, for example. Um, the numbers can kind of creep up on you sometimes. The more guns you have shooting at you, the more damage you're gonna take, right? But and if you go into this yellow blob here, you will take damage, by the way. And it will slow you down quite significantly for a while. Because it puts a debuff on you that will actually slow down your engines, your engine proficiency. And it will damage you over time. While you're waiting for this bar to tick down, you actually want to uh, actively avoid this big yellow... Um, I'll call it a rift bubble because I'm not exactly sure what the actual technical name for it is, but I'm going to call it a rift bubble for the, for the sake of the video. Fortunately, this is taking a while. I do apologize for that. Unfortunately, I would normally edit past this, but my editing software is actually not working at the moment. Uh, decided to have hiccups, so I'm doing this pretty much uncut, uncensored. Hopefully, that won't be a problem for anyone watching. Oh, we so we're almost done. And you do see that uh, sometimes this bar disappears off my screen. That is just basically the uh, the positioning of the camera itself. In some cases, it will not show up. In some cases, it will. Now we've actually activated the Federation device. That will now shut that off. There we go. Now we can proceed to the next zone. And I personally, just, just, you can do it in any order you want. I personally like to go around the outside. But, uh, seeing as though this zone is one we've already actually done already, I'm going to go ahead and go to the middle here. The, uh, thing on point. Because that is the, one of the other tasks that you have to do. You will find in the, all the battle zones, there are only a handful of tasks, different um, mechanics to it, each zone, and they repeat as you walk go around. So you will actually encounter a few of these points here, but for this point, you have to go and go clear out these uh, Klingon weapons that are here. 
that's pretty straightforward. You just go ahead and pull them up. You go over to the Klingon Empire, Klingon weapon, and just activate it. That'll take you both three or four act activations. And you can see how they, these arms and stuff are moving as you're activating them. That's what we're going to do. We're going to open them up and let them shoot at the rift. I'm going to move on to the next one. We'll take these guys out here. That'll pretty much be straightforward. Those. You know, our, our friend here is taking care of this side over here. So he should, although he missed one. Although he's not actually activating, he's just killing Undyne's ship. He might be in here doing the endeavor. That's fine. That's fine. Often what you'll find is as people do their endeavors, which is another discussion video we go into later. As I'm doing mine, as, we, as I'm doing this too, but um, you'll find that often people will go into the various battle zones just to get their endeavors done. They're not actually here to do the actual battle zone, which is unfortunate because it, it kind of lowers the um, playability, I guess, of the battle zone. So that will activate, and then we'll, it'll form this uh, this little ship here that we gotta take care of, which won't be that difficult. And then we clear the zone because we closed that rift. So that will be it for that as far as the tasks, the mechanics go. And now what we gotta do is basically to show you the next phase. We gotta go ahead and clear out the rest of the. I'm going to go ahead and leave on uh, on recording here. We'll discuss as we go along and continue that. Let's hold on the map. Question. Well, actually, he'll, he'll show you the, uh, the four capture points here. You got a Federation point, you got a Klingon point, you got a Romulan point, and you got Planet Killers. So this one is a uh, Romulan point. So ideally, my engines would not be, you know, disabled while doing this. Wanting to get rid of all these undying out of here. And we have to reactivate. I get the uh, singularity trained out here. A uh, single will move up. And Dine will try and basically push it back. That's what they're trying to do. And of course, we don't want to let them. At some point here, it's going to ask us to propel it forward. Does take a little bit, especially if the undying keep wanting to come in and break up the show. Give me one second here, guys. I will go ahead and dispatch with these two ships. And we've now propelled that forward. Now these guys are coming in to basically stop us. 
we'll go ahead and stop them. Well, if you like these videos, of course, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, feel free to follow me also on Twitch at Paragon Gaming 42. Uh, a lot of my live streams will probably be done doing these battle zone, very battle zones live. So check that out. I take care of these guys because they're. Probably without being stuck. Now, what we want to do is basically use this to destroy the rift. Oh, I think I got pushed back, did it? Oh, no, wait. Now we can go ahead and take that out. I assume we should be able to go in here and Use that singularity to destroy this rift. Mines and pets will usually take care of them. And fortunately, like I said, this is a uh, long and painful process. I find it, it's probably easier to do this a live stream, to do this, but uh, same process. It sometimes easier just to do it on. But that is the gist of the uh, various points. And for the planiculars, basically we're going to basically doing doing smaller versions of these various various tasks. And then we just basically just destroy the, the planicular. Um, so that is pretty much going to be it. Because we're going to lose only two of us on the map. So we're going to lose these, these zones here pretty quick. Um... And there's another factor we have to consider that is you will lose zones if there's not enough players to defend them. Just a factor of it. But here we go, we would trigger the singularity and now we've got this zone. Let's see if I can find a, another zone, another instance here. It has more players, only just more players, but I was also further ahead in the stages. Hopefully I can get closer to, to show you guys the planet killer phase. And this one's all red again, so. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, guys. I hope I've, other than 
interesting. Uh, unfortunately, to be able not to show you the uh, the planet killer face. I hope this has been educational. If not, uh, when I do this live on stream, I will be showing the entirety of it, and I will be linking that quad from that stream onto this video as well when that happens. So hopefully, we've educated you guys some on this stuff. I hope uh, you hope you go into the Undying Battle Zone soon enough and try it out for yourself. Until then, guys, see you next time. Wash your hands, wear your masks, be safe out there. See you next time.